Hey everybody, it's me Clay. I'm back again, Clay and Mays Homestead, and I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel. Just if you, even if you're just curious to see what's going on, I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, May is somewhere around. That's you. Come on, May. Coming with me or what? There's me right there for any of you uh, guys or gentlemen or ladies or women that has never, ever been to my channel. I want to welcome you. I have a little dilemma going on with me old RV here, motorhome. A little background information on this. Someone from Illinois, I believe it was, about seven or eight years ago, had abandoned it on the highway. And me, myself, being a new homesteader, I'm thinking I can take it and use it or make it a little home for someone that might, a homeless person or something, you know. And, or even just to uh, make it a storage shed. Well, unfortunately, I cannot do that. I have to get a permit to do that. It don't matter where you live in the United States. Well, I ain't, I'm not going to say where you live in the United States. In the area that I live in, which is okay, and I do agree with them, just to keep the, your area looking good, there's no pollution, there's no drainage of oils and gasoline and things like that. I totally agree with that because I am totally pro-environment, pro-environment. P, capital, R, capital, O, capital, pro-environment. In the same token, I might have to dismantle it. I can dismantle it. If I can't get nobody to get it out of here, it needs some wheels. They have to have wheels to get it out of here. And if not, which I don't mind, I'm, I, I want advice from you guys. Shall I just dismantle it and uh, turn it into scrap and get the money out of it? I figured two or $300 I can get out of it. Uh, maybe I can sell the parts or the windows and so forth like this. As I say, this is new territory for me. Uh, I'm I'm a veteran and uh, I have worked odd jobs most of my life. But most most I have done was uh, landscaping and horticulture and that type of thing. Gardening, tilling, uh, retainer walls, you know, all what goes on with landscaping. Um, so what do you guys think? Let's go inside. And, uh, again, some of you guys seen what it's like inside already. But for uh, people who have never seen this before, check it out. This is what's going on. It's not bad at all. Um, I hate that I have to get rid of it, but I got to do what I got to do. And I don't like... Spending money. I like making money and I don't make much for retirement. I tell you that much. A lot of people who is retired to tell you they have to take another job. Everything is high. Everything. It's expected, but I'm doing good. I live off the land mostly. 65% of my uh, living and eating is right here on the homestead itself. I barely go to the grocery stores, anything like that. And when I do, I try to get as much as I can. May, you supposed to have been in here way before I even came in here. May usually, like, she likes to inspect things. We're teaching Wibbert. Move, Wibbert. We're teaching Wibbert things. So far, Wibbert's doing pretty good. Taking him to get his shots a couple of weeks. He's not exactly six months yet. But as soon as he turns six months, we're going to, or after six months, going to take him to get his shots and Get him caught up with some dewormer, which he's already been given. Uh, get him caught up on all the shots. May's already caught up. She's good to go. So, anyway, guys, check it out here. Um, now, this one, uh, I'm going to have to dismantle it also. Guys, probably, where is he getting all these junk, junk vehicles from? Well, uh, they were, like I said, I'm, I'm new at homesteading. I didn't know all the rules and regulations. You got to get permits for this and permits for that. Let's say, for instance, you want to build a deck. Okay. That deck has to have certain specifications, you know, to make it safe. For instance, that's pretty much what it all is. And you have to have a permit. They'll come look at it and they'll say, hey, it's safe or they'll say it's unsafe. 
And you either rebuild it or you get some professionals to come do it. That's the way it is. Living in a new age now. Mate, Wilbert, come on. Get on over here. Look, look at these guys. Wilbert loves me. And I think May loves Wilbert. So, guys, I need your opinion. Let me know what's going on or what you think I should do. I really think I should just cut this baby up and, and take the parts off. But then again, if I can get somebody to come in and haul it out of here, it just saved me a lot of time and and muscle. But it really wouldn't matter to me uh, one bit. It's just another project out of many. So <clears throat> then maybe I can brag and say I cut one up. Because if I do cut this baby up and take it all apart... You guys are going to be right there with me, okay? All right. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that dingy, dingy, dingy bell. May, Wilbert, get over here. Come on. Come on, guys. All right, guys. Peace, love, and soul. And if you love your fellow man, spread love. And love <laughs> will spread itself. Peace.